Good morning. Oh, I've got a sparkle right there. <laughs> um, I'm just going to let a few people come in. Um, good morning. I'm going to go live with um, Samantha from Sewing, Hatton, Sewing Patterns by Mrs. H. Um, I'm going to try and tag her in now, hoping that she's seen that we're online online now. Um, gosh, it feels like a long time since I've done one of these. And I probably need to prepare you for the fact that I've definitely got a de delivery coming. So at some point, there will be a delivery at the door. Um, so let's, here we go. Here she comes. Morning. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I was just saying, I've definitely got a, a delivery coming. Oh, great timing. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I got the email about 10 minutes ago. I was like, oh, okay. Right, fine. We'll do that then. How are you? I'm trying, Good, trying thank to... you. Good. How are you? I'm okay, thanks. Got a bit of a headache this morning, so... Uh... Got uh, too much caffeine or not enough caffeine? Um, I think just not enough fluid. <laughs> Fair enough. Like my skin feels really dry and my lips feel really dry. You know, when you go outside, you're like, definitely not moisturised enough to be out here because it's so cold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you? It's quite mild down in Cornwall. It's 11 degrees at the moment. What? I know, it's great. <laughs> oh. 11 degrees, that's like balmy. Don't I know, it feels, it feels tropical. Yeah. Look at all those bags behind you. Yeah, Have so you... this is a small selection. Whoa. It's a really small selection. And that's just what's behind me. We've got the same on the other side as well, except the wall's longer. That's incredible. Look at that pink sparkly one. I know, it's great, isn't it? It's... Oh, so have you made those? Uh so behind me the majority of these are made by me a couple are made by testers so the purple cork one um was made by one of my testers yeah. um and a couple of the geometric ones were made by them but the ones behind me are mostly made by myself yeah and how does that feel when like a bag turns up and it's your pattern you're like whoa is it like having a baby <laughs> 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 well, I get to a point during designing, and I'm sure I'm not alone in this. I get to the point I think I I'm not convinced on this pattern. I don't think anybody's gonna like it. I'm not I'm not sure. I think it looks rubbish. It's terrible. And then the testers start making them, and they start showing me their version. I'm like, <gasps> yeah, it looks so good. I it, it's always like I've sort of given them a little fledgling idea, and they've made it up with their fabrics, their style, their um sort of design ideas and it just brings it to life so i feel like i'm just the springboard and then the testers and the makers and those people who make bags are the ones who actually bring the bags to life and i think that's the great thing about fabric is that people take it and they make it their own and they use it in a way that you just never would have anticipated Oh my goodness, so much. And people put combinations together that yeah. I, I never would have even thought of. Yeah. And they look amazing. And I yeah. think, oh, I really need to branch out of my comfort zone. I'm really, um, I don't know how much you see of shop orders, but because I buy the majority of my fabric from your shop. Yeah, I've <laughs> um, noticed. Because there's no, there's no judgment, you know, there's no judgment if I buy the same fabric three times because no. I've cut it out wrong no. twice. Nobody, nobody comments on that. So, um, I've been I trying to push myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, um, I, I'm trying to use more reds and oranges because I don't have a lot of reds and oranges bags. And last year we did a summer window and we did a rainbow in the window. And I had, I think it was one red bag and one maybe kind of might be orange bag. So I'm trying to, and I just, I could just imagine if, um, you know, if this, obviously because I've shopped with you for a long time, can I just imagine the staff seeing my order say, orange? Red? This is, is not she, her. Is she okay? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just trying really hard to push myself out of my comfort zone and use fabrics that I maybe wouldn't usually. And I'm, I've actually have got the retreat pattern with me and yeah. I've made that out of red fabric. Have you? I have. Do you want to see it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Brace yourself. Because I, I, I actually ready. love it. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, look at that. And it's got two-tone strap 
and it's got a nice flap, some cargo pockets. It's got a nice recessed zip there right. and pockets and all oh. the things that I like. But And I challenged myself to make it out of red so I had more red bags, especially for Valentine's Day, my shop window display. Because yeah. I've got a studio shop where I work from. I only really got the shop because I needed a studio to work from. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually love it. I think it looks great. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hold it up and hold it still. Let me have a proper look. It's really nice. Turn it round. <laughs> this is a bit like OnlyFans. <laughs> wow. Oh, look. I, I actually, I used copper hardware with it as well, which... Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of uh, hardware. Yeah. But I used copper hardware with it, which I probably wouldn't have put with um, red. But I did, and it looks great, actually. It looks really lovely. Those pockets are going to be great for your phone. Oh, it's so practical. The yeah. testers absolutely love this bag. Yeah. And then so what's on the inside? I'm quite pleased it's our retreat pattern, so I can make another one. <laughs> um, so inside, we've got just a zip pocket yeah and slip pockets yeah but this zip pocket is one of the um more advanced ones so the zip tape is all hidden oh, look it's a that. more advanced technique because i think if you're going to try something new then bag retreat is where yeah. to do it when you've yeah. got other bag Before. makers around you've got the help you've got support so so yeah. how, tell me about bag retreat okay it's my favorite time of the year <laughs> Forget Christmas, forget my birthday. I absolutely love bag retreat. So we've been going for a while now. Yeah. And we um we hold it in South Wales. Um it's I mean it's perfect for transport links because no matter where you are in the country, you can get to it quite easily on a main road. And then you just turn off the main road, drive for ten minutes into the middle of nowhere, and you're in this secluded country house hotel. It's oh. got a swimming pool, spa, um, they bring us cake every couple of hours. All of our food is catered. We run, uh, so we run two retreats in one. Yeah. So we do a Friday morning to Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And then we have a day off on the Monday and then a separate, a sec, a second separate retreat Tuesday yeah. morning to Thursday afternoon. Cause we find that some people are working uh, during the week and want to come at the weekend. Yeah. Some people are not working during the week and would prefer to come at a quieter time or travel when it's quieter and come midweek. Yeah. So we have the two separate Brilliant. retreats. Brilliant. So you're there all week. <laughs> I am. Yeah. It's such a hardship. <laughs> and you're surrounded by people who are doing the thing that they love best, most. Yeah sewing and making bags oh yeah so we're not really a it's not a set workshop so we'll yeah. have a retreat pattern like this pattern which the majority of people will make yeah during the weekend but really you can sew whatever you like so we've got one lady and she comes and she quilt makes quilts one lady comes and makes um clothes just because she likes or both of them like the atmosphere in the retreat and the setup of it yeah but they might not necessarily want to make a bag but one gentleman comes he sells bags and he comes and he makes bags and picks yeah. up a few extra techniques so we um it's not structured in that we um go through it like a class yeah but um we do have skill builder sessions throughout the weekend or the midweek so um i can't remember how many we've got i think it's five or six that we usually have in a weekend and they're just short little skill builder sessions and i've actually got um with me now the guests don't know this yet so if any of the guests are watching this is they heard it here first or close um, your eyes don't log off but close your eyes and yeah. your fingers in your ears <laughs> and close your ears <laughs> so one of our skill builders that we're going to be doing this retreat is um odor coat so we're going to be talking Ooh. all about it and we're actually going to give the guests a sample of Ode Coat so that they can use it and make a project while they're at retreat. Oh. So we've had, uh, we've got some Ode Coat for each person. We've had some fabric sponsored and we've got some Emmeline zips that have been sponsored for yeah. us as well. So, um, and the project we're going to be making throughout the skill builder. So this time we've got um, Ode Coat, we've got um, making this particular project, we've got making different key rings and things as part of the skill builders to build it up into one big project and this time we are making the quick zip trio yeah and it comes in three sizes 
I've got I've got all three sizes here. It's a bit hard to see on my camera. <laughs> and then also a wristlet key ring. Nice. So you can attach various things. So I've got sanitizer and a hygiene key yeah. thing. And, and a, a bottle opener. Safety, safety whistle. Yeah, bottle opener. <laughs> I didn't think that was a bottle opener, but yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pattern. So we're going to learn how to do that. So each person will get the pattern for this and fabric and zips yeah. and all the interface and stabilizers, plus the OD coat. Brilliant. So this retreat, we've, you know, we've got a, a theme running through it that we're going to do these skill builders as well as people sewing at their own pace and making their bags. So in terms of like value, you're getting plenty of, you know, plenty of bags for your books. Um, well, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of like getting there it's easy to get to it's all set up i imagine in my head you've got all the tables set up you've got ironing stations you've got cutting stations you've got space and you're going to be sitting next to somebody who loves the same thing as you and that's just yeah. brilliant isn't it i am i mean i am quite fussy most people will tell you if they've met me i'm quite pernickety so when we set out to do retreat i wanted it to be what i wanted so we've got a six foot table each person um so there's plenty of space to spread out we've got tea and coffee all day we've got cakes every couple of hours you know mid-morning mid-afternoon like we cakes um, dripped in across the weekend exactly exactly <laughs> just to keep up the sustenance yeah. um, and then I think for people coming on their own because I've been to a retreat before on my own and felt really nervous about coming so what we do is we allocate people two tables so we'll put four or six of these six foot tables together and then we'll set up beforehand the table chat so everybody who's going to be on your table yeah. will set up a little chat beforehand yeah you know a week or two so that by the time you come to retreat you're coming yeah. with friends yeah oh so um a lot of people stay the night before um yeah. and you know have dinner and meet up so although it's nerve-wracking going somewhere on your own and yeah. i completely understand that we try and make it as painless as we as can welcoming as you can and also Absolutely. i think there's an element of when you go on a retreat, sometimes you do just want to get your head down and do a bit of sewing for a bit. And everybody understands that. You don't have to be chatty, chatty, chat, chat all the time. You can go and it's a retreat. It's about going back in and doing what you really love. So it doesn't, you don't have to be chatting all the time. And actually going on your own, ah, oh, time on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't have to cook. You don't have to think about yeah. what you're going to eat for dinner because it's all predetermined. You've yeah. already chosen it. Um, you don't have to worry about what time lunch is. What you you know cooking for breakfast. You don't have to worry about cleaning your room because you've got um, housekeepers, and you don't have to worry about forgetting something. And that's the worst yes. thing about going. See, obviously, yeah. I run the bag retreat that I would want to go to. So if, when I've gone to retreat, I've gone to quilting retreats as a bag maker. Yeah, and if I've forgotten something absolutely hopeless because nobody's got a hammer <laughs> at a quilting retreat <laughs> whereas i find a bag retreat where everybody's somebody got has yes yeah, somebody has got something we bring iron you know we've got irons ironing boards rivet station large cutting mats yeah most people have got something and are very willing to lend it to you yeah. um and if you still forget like you know obviously not um not forgetting your absolutely incredible pop-up shop like, there's no way to about... describe the scale of it <laughs> <laughs> when i think about a pop-up shop i think about like a really simple kids pop-up book <laughs> where there's like a lift the flap and that's it that's that's your standard entry level pop-up book there is nothing basic about the pop-up <laughs> shop <laughs> no it's like one of those and the those handmade german pop-up book things that's got that you open up and it's just like Bing! and there's <laughs> everything that you could possibly hopefully need i mean I'm, i know that rebecca spends a lot of time thinking oh do i need do i need um but i don't think there's very many times where she hasn't got what people need the pop-up shop is a shop it's not really a pop-up shop it's a shop um, was but... I mean obviously I haven't seen that side of the preparation. I've seen that huge lorry, and it's yeah, not it's even a van; lorry, it's a lorry. It? Turn yeah. up, 
and they wheel out all these so hot um, rolls of fabric and felt and faux leather and vinyl and racks and racks of threads and zips and hardware. And, and I think it's really helpful for people who are even experienced bag makers to be able to see yeah, new products in, in person. Yeah. And, you know, we've had people who have maybe been a bit scared of using certain hardware, but seeing it there in the flesh and knowing that you can give it a go yeah. at retreat yeah. it's just you know it just makes it more accessible yeah um and having those things there means that you can have a really good look at things and play with combinations we always try and send um so you know current ranges that we know that bag makers love um, and it gives you the opportunity to just have a play as well. Even if you don't yeah. buy anything when you're there, you can have a play and work out what you want to do. And um, you can buy the kits from us to make the bag. So we've got the hard, is it hardware only kit? Yeah. And we've got and the um, interfacing. Yeah. interfacing only kit. So if you know that you want to make the bag, you can buy both of those and choose your fabric and it takes the pressure off doesn't it knowing that the stuff that you need is going to be there <clears throat> yeah i know we've got some um some people flying into the uk for retreats and i know that they're planning on purchasing some hardware to be delivered to retreats yeah. so so hot will bring it with them to retreats yeah. Yeah. Because then it saves that worry of what if I've got the wrong thing? What if I've yeah. chosen the wrong colour? What if, um, you know, my luggage allowance is not enough? Yeah. You, you can, when you're taking it back, it'll be a finished bag. <laughs> yes, you just carry it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But it's, I mean, it's quite a common scene at retreat to walk through the pop-up shop and find three or four bolts of fabric all laid out and about six or seven people standing around going hmm well have you thought about this one or have you thought about yeah that? i am terrible at choosing fabric combinations yeah. i'm so bad at it. it takes me so long but ha knowing that there's other people there who know your craft who know yeah. bag making who are experienced who've got different perspective it's so you know and the combination's been fantastic from that yeah you know, collective help and it's things like the webbing or straps or the, you know, just something that you think, oh, that looks really good with that. Or it's just basic theft, isn't it? Just stealing people's ideas and thinking I'm <laughs> going to run with that and do it myself. Um, and just it's sharing. It's very inspiring. <laughs> inspiring, yeah, basic theft. Inspiring. Um, and just sitting with other people that, you know, are doing the same thing as you is just, it's really powerful. And it just, you can, must come away from it. I, so I once did at the summer fair, my job was to run the bouncy castle stall. And so I had to get these kids onto the bouncy castle, take their 10 or whatever and let them bounce. And honest to God, it was the best thing for your mental health ever to be surrounded by kids who were on a bouncy castle doing what they love. And I imagine at the, at the end of bag retreat, you feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness i come home from bag retreat and i can't wait to get stuck in sewing yeah. again and i think i've spent eight days at a hotel yeah. sewing you know with the two retreats how how am i not bagged out yeah. but you just can't help but be inspired yeah um yeah i think um it's just one of those great things that just makes you happy it does just make you happy and to have it all in one place and you'll have a list of stuff that you know that you want to take you want to take your mug your slippers sometimes a you know a cushion or a blanket cushion <laughs> yeah cushion that's a good one make sure that you've got a little little stash of sweets somewhere and that just Although, makes it fun getting ready for some, it yeah some people have suggested maybe we should bring more fruit because we have quite a lot of sugar during during a retreat and they've suggested maybe we might like to introduce a bit of i don't know vitamins maybe it's only three days <laughs> if you want to bring a bag of carrots to bag retreat then fair enough <laughs> but do you know what i mean it's three days and just yeah have a lovely time well, we are we are going to try and add some fruit in this year because um yeah see how that just, goes yeah <laughs> just to uh i don't know i suppose balance all of the cake and and of course because we're in wales we get welsh cakes during one of the Ooh, you know during the I've break heard about so. these 
Who was, oh, who was telling me about those? Was it Lynn? Um, yeah, the Welsh cakes. Hot, buttered Welsh cakes. Uh, not buttered, no. So hot with um, sugar on them or warm. Yeah, Ooh. absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Delicious. Yeah, um, tasty. So tell us how much and what we get. Or should okay. I do that bit? I'll do that. Uh, you if, tell me if, if you right. like. Yeah, if so, you like. It starts at £445, which is an absolute bargain because you get three days, two nights of unlimited sewing time do they close the sewing room or does the yeah so we do finish at yeah we do finish at 10 o'clock at night well, and then start fine. again at seven. Oh, start at seven yeah wow. that's fact, early that, i think that the night porter has let people in before now <laughs> before seven <laughs> people who have been pacing laid in bed awake since five o'clock thinking about sewing their bag that's yeah, we're well, not we're not all night hours. Some of us are early birds, and some of us yeah. are night hours. And um, all your refreshments, all your meals. There's a spa, so you can go and beautify yeah. So you yourself. can go and use the swimming pool and the gym. Um, that's you know you can just go and use that, and then they do spa treatments. You can get a discount on because you're um, staying at the hotel. Brilliant. Um, and you can buy the kits from us if you need them. We will be there with a shop. I'm not calling it a pop-up shop anymore. It's a shop. <laughs> I won't be there, but other people will be there who will unfold the shop and the shop will be there with pretty much everything that you need. And I think the great thing about it is that it builds that bag making community in that you're going to make friends that you're going to know for, you know, forever now that are always going to be your bag making friends yeah we have so seen friends? some absolutely amazing yeah. friendships come from retreat yeah. when we um you know if we get a lot of people who come on their own we try to put people who maybe live near each other or seem to yeah. have similar interests and we've seen some amazing friendships come from retreat yeah um that's really really lovely and then when you get home you must be absolutely exhausted uh, I take a day off. <laughs> yeah. Funny, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like it's worth, I mean, it's, you know, it's quite an indulgent break. It's, um, you know, I suppose we're not very good at being selfish. And mm. sometimes, actually, you do need a bit of self-care. You do need some time. And you do need to do something like this where, you know, usually if you've got children, you've got, um, you know, a spouse or a partner, you think, oh, I've got all these other responsibilities, got um, got it going round and round in my mind. But actually, sometimes just taking that conscious yeah. decision to take time out to do something that you want to do, something that interests you, something that you know you're going to get something out of yeah. is really, really good for your soul. Yeah, because you, when you look at a pattern, you kind of break it down into, oh, well, I'll, cut, I'll do the cutting, then I'm going to cut my interfacing, then I'm going to work through this, I might make the straps and I'll do that. Mm -hmm. And in between that, you've got, I'll do a school run, I'll finish, the, I'll empty the dishwasher, I'll go to work, I'll, you know, pick up whoever that needs picking up. And actually, with a bag retreat, you don't have those little punctuations, you can just sit down and crack on. And the only interruption is going to be food yeah. and chat and shopping. It's like... It's like being in a bubble, you know, yeah. even if something happens, there's nothing you can do about it. You might as well just enjoy yourself. And yeah. I, I find retreat is quite unique in that there's no competitiveness. It's not a race. <clears throat> Nobody's monitoring where you are in the pattern, how you're doing, what you make. I mean, people are interested in what you're making because they'll come around and be like, oh, I love that. What are you making? Yeah. And I love but, that when you've got a little bit of time to just walk around everybody and see mm -hmm. what they're doing and seeing how, see how they're getting on with something or looking to see what combinations they've got, stealing them. Um, then it's just so inspirational to have a good wander around and have a good look at everybody and what they're doing. The other I, thing I've just got to mention, a special mention to our Finnish bell, um, oh. which is actually on my desk over there. I wish I'd brought it here, but it's a nice shiny silver bell. And as soon as you finish a project or you do something for the first time, like setting rivets or make a really, really nice strap, you can go and ding that bell and we we'll all cheer and clap for you. Oh. <laughs> it's, just, it's a very satisfying feeling, dinging that bell. 
I think I want my own bag. <laughs> Well, my sister brought it for me. My youngest sister brought it for me because um, I was struggling to do the, you know, the admin tasks, the boring tasks. So she brought it for me. And she said, every time you do a task, ding that, and it will give you a sense of satisfaction. So I thought, well, That's I'll bring amazing. it to the tree and see. And we love it. <laughs> That's really, really good. Uh, yeah, I love that idea. I'm, I'm absolutely nicking that idea. Yeah, you should get one. one. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Um, so... Oh, we can, so if somebody's struggling with their machine or their machine is out of action, they can hire machines, can't they? Well, yes, they can. For We've got all machines available for the October retreats because we yeah. run these twice a year. So we've got March and October. So yeah. we've got full availability for October. We've only got availability for the midweek in March because yeah. okay. they're already booked out by guests who are flying in from um, overseas. Right. In the weekend. Um, but we use a... So we, uh, we work with Janome yeah who have given us some machines to be able to bring to retreat and the higher fee just covers the pat testing and the machine servicing we don't make profit on the um high machines um they're hd9s they're very strong they're great for bag making um and i'm sure you were about to mention graham no but i can graham oh, okay <laughs> great so graham also comes in so if you don't need to hire a machine but yeah. your machine needs a bit of a pamper, then we have Graham Hughes come in on the Saturday and the Wednesday to do machine servicing. Oh, that's and genius. It, I mean, obviously I live it, you know, in the middle of nowhere now down in Cornwall, but, or, you know, at the toe end of England, let's say. But Graham's prices are about half the price of what they are down here. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a lot of guests who come regularly and they bring their machine and they will only let Graham service their machine yeah. at cost it costs around £40 for a service and you can sit with him and he'll talk you through how to maintain your machine, how to do a mini service yourself, or you could just leave him to it. And he takes around 45 minutes-ish to do your machine and you'll get it back. And it's perfectly clean and serviced and ready to go. Just That's takes that headache bonus. away. That's a massive bonus because mm. while he's cleaning it, you can be getting all of his ideas about what to clean it with and which bits go where and all the rest of it that's brilliant yeah so, I mean, some people machine? like to sit with him sorry could you bring could i fill my boot with machines yeah yeah you could somebody once brought a treadle machine that had been sitting unused for years and years and years and he stripped it down and rebuilt it and serviced it for her i want to chat to graham <laughs> It's great. <laughs> you want to see if he'll come on holiday up to visit you? <laughs> well, we could do a live with Graham. That would be fun. Yeah. Um, that's really useful. So some right. people do like to sit with him and he'll talk you through what all of the bits are and how they move and how they work, etc. which, you know, is absolutely incredible knowledge to be able to have that. Because mm. usually with machine servicing, you take your machine, you drop it off, and yeah. then you collect it two weeks later, don't you? Yeah, um, well, in Leeds, where I am, you have to drag it through the market. So you have to yeah. park your car, drag your machine through the market to the man at the stall and get him to service it for you. Yeah. I'm looking it at my just makes it now easy. thinking, hmm, you probably yeah. do need a service. <laughs> yeah, send it down with the uh, pop-up shop. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, there's an idea. Um, that's really useful. What a good idea. Good thinking, Batman. <clears throat> well, it just makes sense because I, you know, machine servicing is such a, you know it needs doing and you know it, like it helps your machine but it's such a hassle sometimes yeah and not everybody wants to be without their machine for weeks no i want to be but, without it for 45 minutes while i eat cake and graham talks me through which bits are which exactly <laughs> exactly and the, i think you know this is the thing when i first found graham when i was living in south wales he, he would come to the house and then when we started retreats he would start coming to retreats and I, he just doesn't understand why places take two weeks to service a machine when it takes 45 yeah. minutes yeah so, yeah. um, you know, it, he, so he would rather come to a group like that so that yeah. everybody can have their machines serviced get them done it, it you know it's cheaper per person because he's coming to one place yeah and it, it, you you go home knowing it's done <laughs> brilliant yeah. it's a proper retreat everybody leaves retreat feeling restored even your sewing machine well uh, we probably work them quite hard <laughs> yeah graham opens it up and goes ah 
<laughs> yeah. All you, can, all you can hear from Graham is, <gasps> and ooh. No, no. We did have um, a guest once, and I... <laughs> I've never really admitted this in public because it's quite embarrassing <laughs> for that person. And they don't know who they are, but they, they brought a machine with them that hadn't been used for a while and they opened it up and there was a dead um, field mouse inside. Oh. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, so, but, you know, obviously they, oh. you know, they just disposed of it and sorted it all out and everything. And that guest will never know, which is great. But now they've gone away with a machine that's working and it's completely fine. There's no damage to it. It's, you know, there's no problems with it and it's completely fine. And it's all done and handled. I imagine in Graham's house, he's got some kind of cabinet and in it are the things that he's found in sewing machines. I, I don't think that would have made it into the cabinet. <laughs> Poor field mouse. That's quite a noisy one. Well, maybe it wasn't noisy at the time. Maybe it was just a nice, cosy place. Well, I think it had been sitting, you know, the machine had been sitting for a while. But, you know, if you've got, I don't know, your grandma's machine or your mum's yeah. machine, it has been used yeah. for 30 years. Don't worry. Bring it along. Don't worry. If it's a coffin, just bring it with you. It's fine. <laughs> small, small mammal coffin. Here you go. <laughs> right samantha have we covered everything that we wanted to cover to tell people how do they book yes. it where do they go so go to www.mrs-h.com yep. forward slash retreat <laughs> and if you look on the um so hot website and you type in bag retreat it will come up with the um the kits that we're doing mm -hmm. And there's a link to the page to book it. Yeah. On the listing. Um, yeah. We've worked together with So Hot and Retreat mm. since we started. Mm. And Rebecca, who runs So So Hot, is a bag maker herself. You know, yeah. she knows how to make bags. And it, she's a quilter primarily, but she knows how to make bags. She understands the dynamics and the construction of bags. And I think that's what makes So Hot so yeah. unique and why we need So Hot at Retreat, yeah. because she brings the things that we know we need yeah. Yeah. as bag makers. Yeah, and she's really, really good at keeping an eye out for the new stuff that's coming in. Like We've got loads at the moment of new bag charms and things that just make your bags different and fun and more interesting and totally different to anything that you could ever buy it's yeah just, there's just no comparison um so <clears throat> bag retreat is a very good thing i want to come to bag retreat now <laughs> <laughs> it's great it's so good you know some people bring their um spouses or a friend who um and they come and they join us for dinner each night and then they go off during the day and you know go cycling or go exploring and then and then just join us again in the evening so you know it's kind of relationship I, think, I like <laughs> yeah i think i think most bases are covered you know we try to make it as easy as possible for people to yeah. be able to come to and the good thing about hiring your machine is if you're using public transport to get there mm -hmm. then you don't have to be lugging your your machine around you can just bring more fabric yeah absolutely i think it's about a 15 minute taxi ride from the train yeah. station from the nearest train station in newport brilliant how do you pronounce the name of the hotel well i'm not welsh so it will never be accurate but it's court blethin court blethin court blethin yeah right but with I a welsh accent it. which i'm not going to attempt <laughs> i looked at it and i thought i actually don't know how to say that out loud no, there's parts of the hotel which um, date back to um, uh, oh, I before can't be here I'm not wrong. Yeah, um, there's parts of the hotel that were original, um, you know, country house, manor house, um, and you know they've retained the original. It's an absolutely stunning hotel. Thank you so much. Thank um, you for talking to me. Well, thank you for talking for talking to me. It's been really <laughs> lovely. I've had my coffee, I've had my paracetamol and my delivery hasn't interrupted me <laughs> so far. And thank you to everybody who's watched as well. Yes, I can see lots of people. Um, oh. I, I saw a couple of recommendations from guests saying that they love retreat or they recommend oh. it. 
See, I think uh-huh. it's unusual actually that we've got any tickets left over because we usually have such a high rebooking rate, you know, where people, um, you know, they come one year and then they immediately book for the next year because they love it so much. Yeah. But I think um, with COVID, people were sewing scrubs all day, every day. And yeah. I think you know, some people just haven't had time to sew or to, yeah. you know, sew for themselves for a while. Yeah. God, those days. Yeah. But it's a great um, opportunity for people who want to get onto Bag Retreat who maybe weren't able to before. Yeah, yeah. And get booked on and make some new friends and share about it because whenever there's a Bag Retreat going on, the the, um, the pictures that come on Instagram are just just lovely of just a room full of people having a fantastic time and it's just yeah. very very lovely so book it on um mrs hyphen h.com yeah buy your kits from so hot pack your slippers take a mug then turn up and have a lovely time and let us know how you get on and have and you have a fab time as well I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> Forget about the guests. I can't wait. <laughs> New pajamas, some nice bubble bath. Yeah. It'll be really, much really whatever you want. Oh, why is that gone on my head? Oh, I don't know, but it looks great. <laughs> I, d- I don't know. How- there we go. It's gone now. I feel a bit better. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you for inviting me to chat. Oh, you're very, very welcome. If there's anything that we can do to help, then um, I kind of just want to get in the car and come to Cornwall now, but it'll be tomorrow (laughs) when I get there. Well, if anybody's got any other questions, they could just leave it and, you know, leave it for us or contact us or contact you and you'll pass them on to us. Yeah, definitely. Um, Yeah, I mean, I I think we've covered everything and it's just basically go or don't go and the answer is go. I'm definitely going. Yeah, you're definitely going. I'm definitely going. (laughs) Right, take care. All right, have a good day. Okay, bye bye. Bye.